Genghis Khan? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, got it. I'll press them like blocks of tofu. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> Will you still think it's nothing to worry about when the new treaty breaks down and our nation fo founders? What? <laughs> Uh, the fuck? <sighs> That's ridiculous. If only I was allowed to lift up her dress. Yurinosuke! <laughs> <laughs> what? Yurinosuke, <laughs> you're horny, <laughs> Wow, Nobody. this game is Boy. getting horny. Okay. <laughs> well, we know someone's going to love this game. I'm what not is saying shit. That tattoo? What the hell is that? Wait. I guess that might be his astrological sign. What the fr- What? No. What the- Okay. Very well, Pilgrim. I'll grant the defense one final opportunity. What, are we getting to case five type stuff where it's like- One last I'm opportunity? Yeah. Ooh. If, like, he is this five it. penalties at once if I get this wrong? It is you who has no grasp of the facts. What is happening? The justice system in our country may be in its infancy. But rest assured, all reasonable doubt must be dispelled before I'm prepared to pass judgment. He's good people. S since when is reasonable doubt a thing in Ace Attorney? Yeah, you pretty much have to prove that the other guy did it, right? Yeah. Thank you, Your Excellency. I need to stop doing that. That got picked up in my last couple of videos. The pen clicking. What was that smile? Yes. Of course. I mean, I'd be delighted to help. Especially if it helps relations between my country and yours. So she does I speak she, Japanese. She does. Well, what do you know? Ah! Miss... Miss Brett! You speak Japanese? No one asked. They just assumed. <laughs> well, of course I do. I am studying in your country, after all. But, but then, why have you been speaking through an interpreter until now? I just was... My mother tongue, the Queen's English, is the most refined and elegant language in the world. As a gentlewoman, I try to avoid speaking in your vulgar tones as much as possible. Wow, that's racist. Damn. <laughs> but it seems the men in this land possess none of the chivalrous virtues of English gentlemen. So I can see that I shall have to lower myself to communicating with you all on a, your own level. Oh, ah, well, you are, <laughs> you are the epitome of a true English gentlewoman. <laughs> that animation. <laughs> we are truly honored by this, this lavish consideration you so graciously afford us. Dot dot dot. I see. Well, in that case, Miss Brett, I'll now ask you to testify in your own words about the events leading up to the death of the victim, Dr. Watson. So, we're finally going to hear her own words on the matter. Things are getting interesting, Ryunosuke. I really like his character design. Who? Kazuma? Or this girl? Yeah, Kazuma. Oh, Kazuma. yeah. 
The victim's death. Unfortunately, I have no idea when the poor man burnt his wrist like that. When the waiter brought my steak, the professor and I raised our glasses in a toast. As far as I've heard, the post-mortem report showed no other possible cause of death besides the gunshot. <laughs> if there's some other way a man's life can be taken without leaving a trace, please do show me. Okay, so, um, my suspicion is because they didn't perform an autopsy and someone in a police uh, officer just inspects the body that he was poisoned because they would have no way of knowing he was poisoned without without cutting him open which they did not do is that why she's hiding the glass I don't know but of course this country's inferior investigative techniques probably wouldn't pick up on it anyway Hmm. That most captivating and beautiful testimony will go down in my spe- I mean, in the Supreme Court's history. Thank you. Easy does it. I hope that is the last time I will have to sully my lips with the coarse tones of your unbecoming tongue. If I was on you, I'd be coming too. Oh, forgive me. I do hope I haven't insulted anyone. Oh, you have. Oh, you have. Not at all. Not at all. It is a delight merely to hear you speak, dear lady. Stop simping for her. And it seems very clear from your testimony that this boorish talk... Oh, it's, I think that's boorish, actually. It's pronounced boorish. And it seems very you know clear from your testimony that this boorish talk of the victim's burn is utterly irrelevant. I will be speaking to your country's Minister of Justice about what has happened here today. The Minister of Justice? May that irritating little bully of a student be given the harshest punishment possible. Amen. Huh? We're um, give him a man. Thanks. Was that a prayer, then? Well, you'll have to forgive the irritation, Miss Brett, and put up with the cross-examination now. Oh, oh, sorry. I expect you've noticed this little bully of a student, as you put it. Doesn't miss much. I'm sure we don't need to remind you, Council, that this will be your final cross-examination in this trial, oh, thank God. If you fail to demonstrate any problems with this witness's testimony, I'll smack you with my gavel. I will be ruling on the case immediately. Is that clear, Pilgrim? Okay, um... <laughs> what the f- uh, What? The heck was that? I'm trying not to say the F-bomb again. If I can That's avoid it. Where's your jar of sake? Then you may proceed with the cross examination. Yeah, let me know if anything drops. Yeah. Stuff that I've already said, I'm not going to re, re say, but uh, when you press, I will. Okay. Pay her. Um, what do you guys reckon I should press? The whole statement, uh, yeah. or just the thing about the. I Whatever guess you want to press. Pressing yes. the whole testimony can't hurt. But his hand was on the searing hot plate for at least three whole seconds. You can't not have noticed. What did she say? Oh, yeah. Okay. Do you think... Oh, right. Do you think so? Let me ask you something. Sorry? Ever since I arrived at this courtroom, and even still now... The fly on those unsightly black trousers of yours has been wide open. Checking out his crotch, huh? You can't not have noticed, can you? Huh? What? Ah! 
<laughs> My fly's been open the whole time! Why? What fun! <laughs> you hadn't realized. The dear lady is absolutely right! As your friend, you've embarrassed me as well as yourself, <laughs> Ryunosuke. <laughs> Flavor text. Why didn't you tell me? Because I enjoyed no, looking I don't at care it too that much. This is, I don't care that this is flavor text, it's too damn funny. <laughs> right? Dr. Wilson was a true English gentleman. He chose honorable silence over a vulgar scream. Can your tiny brains imagine such a thing? No. You're talking to a country where people frequently spill their guts! Oh yes! Oh yes! I think my tiny brain can! Yes! You just dissed yourself. Well, I can't. <laughs> anyway. <coughs> In the rate of our mistake, the professor and I raised our glasses. Yes! As you testified before, you were drinking carbonated water, is that right? Dr. Wilson was only permitted to drink water at that time, if you remember. Which explains why he ordered that drink, correct, waiter? <clears throat> exactly as you say, sir. Hmm, although... Uh, although? Whether or not the professor actually drank any of the water when I delivered the steak to the table... I'm afraid I don't remember that. Yes. Damn you. Ah, I have enough English to understand that, at least. For the benefit of others in the court, it means bless you. <laughs> um, I think it means the exact opposite. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> as far as I've heard, heard, the post-mortem report showed no other possible cause of death besides the gunshot. Yes. Yes, it's written here in the paperwork. Fatal hemorrhage from burlistic trauma. Oh, now you know how to say it. <laughs> yes. Luckily for all of us, a little burn on the wrist isn't going to kill us. As there are n were no other signs of trauma on the victim's body to indicate some other cause of death, it can only have been the bullet from your gun that put an end to this innocent man's life. But it doesn't make sense. The burn must have happened straight away when the b plate was first brought to the table by the waiter. Yes, that's true. If it had cooled even slightly, he wouldn't have been able to make a burn like that. Yeah, you ever been to Applebee's? And if the victim burnt his wrist on a hot plate as soon as it was brought out from the kitchen... Applebee's is disgusting, I'm sorry. Then he must already have been dead at that point. I think I've been there once, and ugh, I don't like their food. Fizzling place. And yet, the fact is that the victim was killed by a gunshot to the chest. Until you're able to show the court evidence to disprove that, this is a complete waste of time. Hmm. I concur. Prosecutor Ouchie is right. Ugh. <sighs> If there's some other way a man's life can be taken without leaving a pl trace, please do yes! show me. Without leaving a trace? If someone is shot, or strangled, or stabbed, or thrown from a height, however a person's life is taken, there are always telltale traces on the body. Not if, not if he was poisoned and you didn't cut the body apart. Quite right, dear lady. And as our police force has thoroughly examined the body of the deceased, there can be no doubt. Isn't that right, Inspector Hosunaga? As I've said, I always aim for a flawless investigation. A perfect investigation. Hmm, there would be physical traces with all those causes of death, that's true. 
But maybe there's some other way of killing someone that doesn't leave a mark. If, heaven forbid, you doubt me, young man, you're going to have to tell everyone how exactly you think the professor did lose his life. Poison! Poison! You're Otherwise, poison. I'm afraid your argument falls rather flat, doesn't it? I don't want to break these chains! Oh no! Perish the thought! Calling such a sweet young lady's innocence into question? Oh, on my honor, I, Ta Takatsuchi Auchi, will cut down any who dare to cast such aspersions. Hmm, a way of killing someone that leaves no trace. <clears throat> we, uh, need some Frick, we don't have any here. evidence for this. He says we have no. E we ha we need evidence to back us up here. Hmm, but do we not? It's gotta be I the cup. Suppose... there has to be a reason she took the cup, right? Yeah. Why else she would she take the cup? Yes, evidence. Mm. Evidence Okay, I'm gonna try something. This might get me in trouble. Let's see. Yes! Nope. That statement contradicts the facts, as demonstrated by this evidence. Nope. As far as I can tell, there's nothing untowards about this evidence. But... but that... Pull yourself together. You look as though your eyes are about to pop out of your head, Pilgrim. <laughs> uh, I can't help that. It's just my look. <laughs> no, it's your whole—it's your character design. You can't change it. <sighs> okay, that was not it. <laughs> Spoiler alert: that was not it. Or I mean, yes. Newsflash: that was not it. <laughs> Inferior. What do you mean by that? In the lands of the Great British Empire, the police store everything found at a crime scene for later examination. But in this country, you investigate once, and that's the end of it. Isn't that so? Quite right! Le Carnival is open for business as usual today, just days after the incident. Business as usual! Exactly. Which means that even if the investigation takes a different direction, vital evidence may be lost. What is this going on? It doesn't even occur to your native detectives to try to preserve the crime scene. Hey, to be fair, until Conan Doyle started doing his thing, nobody did forensics in England either. Huh. I'm trying to be as tactful about this as I can. You understand. Haha! <laughs> a killer blow! The lady is as formidable as she is beautiful! Will you stop simping for her? <laughs> no kidding. Amazing! <laughs> Amazing! He's actually admitting our police may be flawed. Perhaps Prosecutor Auchi is finally starting to see sense. I very much doubt that. Still, there's something about what Miss Brett just said. <clears throat> there was a moment before when something didn't seem quite right. Something's not quite right. What do you think, Ryunosuke? I pressed everything. I think it's going terribly! I don't have shit! No matter how much I press her, it's, I'm not turning up any new information. Hmm... Yes, as I suspected, she's a tough witness. We need to find a way to break her testimony, or the cross-examination will be over. Uh, they're gonna introduce a new game mechanic here, and that means this is gonna take another hour. Because I saw some sort of thing. Maybe this is the new deduction dance thing? Or whatever? Kazuma? What, Ryunosuke? There is one thing I've noticed. Something that's been bothering me. If you're talking about the hairband, it, it happens all the time. Bothering you? You mean about Miss Brett? 
Actually, no. About the person standing next to her. Inspector Hosonaga. The detective? Yes. He seemed to react a little strangely to Miss Brett's last statement. I was wondering if it might be significant. If it might present an opening, maybe. Oh, is this where you perceive? Dot, 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 dot. All right, I have an idea. Try pressing her on that last statement one more time. If you think so... Sorry. If you think so, but... But this time, instead of targeting the woman herself... Yeah. Let's see what we can get out of the detective. All right, then. Oh. I wonder what Kazuma's thinking. I'll find out soon enough, I suppose, once I press Miss Brett on her last statement again. It's gonna take me to the first statement, though. Yep. God, thank God for the new Ace Attorney games where they do this. The bullet right? system where it shows you Yeah, the you bullet which one system where it shows you what statement you're on. Yep. Yeah, I like that. So what are you supposed to do uh, in this situation? Okay, yes. press. I guess wait for the, um... I'm not gonna read this text anymore. We're gonna wait. Yeah, I'm not gonna read it either. Just wait for the, uh... The thought wait, bubble to pop up. That one. Click the thought bubble. Yes, there it is again. Ah. Well, I, I want to see how the keyboard controls work, just in case I... well. Up until now, the detective has been in the stand with Miss Brett as her interpreter. Hmm. But things are very different now. For this testimony, the detective is just listening to what the English woman has to say. Hmm. This could be a golden opportunity. What do you mean? <laughs> when people are actually testifying, they're usually very careful not to let anything slip. However, when they're listening to someone else speak, you'll find they often let their guard down. You're right. Look at him. He's lost in his own thoughts. It's time to pursue the man and his train of thought. I said regulation save strictly. Whips only in the courtroom. Sorry, <laughs> pursue? I'll explain how you do it now, Ryunosuke. It's all to do with the witness's marker. The witness marker? What marker? Whoa. At the moment, we're focused on Miss Brett, who's the person actually making the current statement. Ah, oh, this shit's gonna get crazy, isn't it? Oh, dear God. <laughs> but by moving the marker both left and right with A and D, you, you can turn your attention to other people on the stand. Oh, you're doing this on a computer. I am. While you're looking at the other witnesses, you'll be able to pursue them with space. <laughs> when I get this game, that'll be on the Switch. If you catch the person at the right time, you might uncover some new information to pursue. If you ever notice a strange atmosphere amongst the people on the stand, take a good look around. Alright then, so first I should move the cro marker across with A and D and focus on the detective. If it's having me use A and D, I assume it's going to make you use left stick or maybe the D-pad. Yeah. Then pursue him with space and see what's on his mind. Here we go. Pursue him, huh? Exactly, which means that even if the in investigation takes I'm a different I'm pressing A and D. Maybe lost. Excuse me! Excuse me! Yeah! What the? What is the meaning of this? You're making him die! Stop! <laughs> I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to shock you. He really was lost in his thoughts, deeply. <clears throat> Looks like you were thinking something just now, Inspector. Hmm. Perhaps having heard what the young lady next to you had to say? He's doing the same finger thing that Edgeworth does. Yeah, he kinda is. Except he puts it on his forehead. Mm. If there's something you'd like to say, please share it with the court. Or maybe, maybe I'm not. What is the meaning of this? There's that animation again. <laughs> it's the delightful English woman who's testifying at the moment. If you can't find fault with her testimony, then the cross-examination should be over. 
immediately. Oh, is is that how it works? Absolutely not. Hmm? The detective is in the stand, which makes him a valid witness. Yes, not to mention the fact that he's intimately evolved, involved in the case. Oh my. Spectre host Naga. Yes? Do you have something to add in relation to the statement made by Ms. Brett? <clears throat> Well, yes. If you don't mind, I'd like to take the liberty to speak. Hmm. I don't like this. The lady is you don't right. like what? Our country is... The lady is right. No. She don't like that he's speaking up. The lady is right. Our country's police practices are not as modern as those used in Great Britain. Which is why I, Satoru Hosunaga, Always try to make every investigation I'm involved in flawless. What do you really mean by that? I'll tell you what I mean. I won't have evidence lacking on my watch. I'm not afraid to take everything I can from the scene of the crime. It's preserving evidence, you see. Yes. I don't care if they call me a crime scene thief. I'm not ashamed of what I've done. <coughs> <laughs> okay, this time the coughing was actually voice. <clears throat> <clears throat> that was a real cough, and I actually had to cough right then, and that was perfect. Nice. <laughs> a crime uh, scene thief? Boiling. <laughs> well, it looks like the lady's remarks touched a nerve there. <laughs> real quick, this is gonna be an editing disaster. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <True. laughs> Take, Take that. this, for example. Take that. <laughs> uh oh. Is that? This is the bottle of carbonated water that I took to the victim's table on the day in question. Oh, it's Perrier, huh? And yes, it's lost all of its fizz, having been opened three days ago now. But it was carbonated water. I don't care what anyone says. Yes, there's some left in the bottle. I can see it. One day our police force will be among the best in the world. The time is coming. I guarantee it. <coughs> but I won't live to see that day because I have tuberculosis. I can't say I condone the witness's action, but I do understand the sentiment. The court will accept the glass bottle of water as evidence. Hmm. Miss Brett. Can you confirm this is indeed the bottle from which you drank on the day of the victim's death? No, it wasn't, because I killed the man by poisoning it. Oh crap, you got me again. Yes, it was that bottle. What was that about? She seemed to avert her eyes when she answered the judge's question. Hmm. Well, she's either lying or she has trouble with eye contact. Hmm. Huh? I freaking hate. Oh, okay, why? There we go. Tentacle I can't find place. anything out of place. Is there something in the bottom? The label is written in a foreign language that I don't recognize. Do you know what it says, Kazuma? Hmm. I think it's French. This must be very expensive water. So it is Perrier! <laughs> yes, but what does it say? That's what I was asking. Then go to France <laughs> and ask. <laughs> you could just say that you don't know. <laughs> Great, that was worth... <laughs> that was worth our time. Wait, wait, is there an emblem on the bottom? So this carbonated water is the last drink Dr. Wilson ever had. 
Hmm. Well, there won't be any if you have it upside down. Uh, <laughs> looks like there's a little left in the bottle, although there's just plain water now. You know, I've been sweating so much, I'm absolutely parched. I'll just have Same. a sip, sip of this to keep me going. No, Ryunosuke, you can't do that! For one thing, that's evidence. You can't go drinking evidence. <laughs> oh no, also, you're right. Also, it's got germs on it. We don't know what might be inside, do we? <sighs> you never cease to amaze me, Ryunosuke. In more ways than one. Yes, there could. What's the What's... matter? You've gone all quiet all of a sudden. I think I might have just worked something out. An interesting possibility. Okay. Hmm. Is there an emblem on the bottom of that bottle? No. Oh. I thought I saw <clears throat> something, but... Uh... Very well. Cancel, you may resume the cross-examination. And the inspector will kindly control his... Fervor. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna end up being like a one hour and a half hour video. We're at one hour and eight minutes. <laughs> Wait, what are we doing? Um, um, for the sake of saving time, I have a guess, but uh, yeah, I, yeah. Yes, I also have a guess. guess. Okay, good. We guess we guess the same thing. What what is this? The bottle of water? Actually, there is one man of a. Uh, <laughs> Actually, there is one method of killing a man without leaving a trace that comes to mind. Obviously, I'm referring to poison. Poison? <clears throat> On the day of his death, we know that Dr. Wilson drank from this bottle of carbonated water. Could it be that there was poison inside? Oh. Could it be that the professor actually died after taking a sip from his glass? That's why she hid the glass. Order! Order! I will have order! And on that day, who was sitting at the same table as the professor and able to slip the poison into his drink? There's only one person who possibly could have done it. Giselle Brett! It was you! Hanyu Almeida! Objection! This is outrageous! To suggest such a thing without a scrap of evidence! You little rookie imbecile! Have you even considered the delicate situation our country finds itself in now? Have you forgotten that we have only just signed an accord of friendship with the British Empire? Have you even the vaguest inkling that your rash accusations could jeopardize the entire treaty? Objection! This is not a political arena. This is a trial to determine one individual's guilt with respect to a crime. What? The fact that this woman is British makes no difference. We're here to determine the truth. Ahem, if I may. I will silence you forever for this disgraceful attack on the- Ooh. That's up! Ooh! Elegant! It is you who should be silent. Of course! Dear lady! <laughs> lady! Lady! Where did that come from? She just snapped. I've, I realized I forgot to read it, but I also memorized what it said, so there. <laughs> I'm afraid I may have spoken unfairly before. I offer my most humble apologies. I'm sorry, my lady, to what are you referring? I described your police force as inferior. But no matter how inferior they may be, you still investigated this particular point thoroughly, I believe. The bottle, I mean, inspector, and whether it contained poison or not. Oh, 
Uh, of course. You did? Have you forgotten what my guiding principle is already? Well, if she slipped the poison into the one glass, then... Yeah. That's my thought. I strive for a flawless investigation every time. He didn't take the glass, though. I don't believe it! Naturally, we tested the inside of the bottle and its contents. But you didn't test the inside of the glass! And? What did you find, Inspector? Absolutely nothing, which is what you are about to become. Nice. I ought to test for every toxin that's available in this country at the present time. Not for in England. We could find no trace of poison of, of any description in the bottle of carbonated water, Your Excellency. What? Are you sure? Okay, now you've got two possibilities. I agree, it could be a, a poison that's like not known in Japan, but known to England. Or, it could also be a, um, it, she could have poisoned just the glass and not the bottle. The tests were meticulously carried out by the chief coroner himself. No! No! <laughs> No. No. I'm very grateful to all you Japanese. You've successfully established my complete innocence in this horrid affair. Thank you. But, but of course, dear lady, the pleasure was all ours. I was so sure. The glass, the glass. This, this can't be right. I'm supposed to be playing this character, but God, I hate. Yeah, you know, want to strangle her. This can't be right. Hey, for all you know, she could be into it. Everything falls into place if he was poisoned. <laughs> I just got what mistakes True. that. Well, yeah, as soon as you were laughing, but he he was voicing the lines. So. Thank you, Council. I think the Crown's examination has clarified everything. As the prosecution have asserted, as the prosecution, as the prosecution has asserted, that a shot to the chest from the gun is the only conceivable cause of death. <laughs> Furthermore. The accused, who by his own admission was holding the weapon, is the only possible culprit. I'm done for. The court wishes to apologize for the great inconvenience that this has caused you, Miss Brett. <sighs> oh no. I'm just glad the matter is resolved. Before proceeding, I must ask the counsel for the defense. Why not just call me the defense? Do you have any new evidence to present to the court at this point? Kazuma, help. I'm sorry, Ryunosuke. I have nothing more. Well, if you'll excuse me now, I really must be leaving. I must be I would love it if, if one of the prosecutors <laughs> would... Wait, who said who? Who said that? Oh, hello. Oh! Please, wait. Please, wait! No, I get the female roles. Oh, that was just a Danganronpa reference, sorry. Oh. Okay. Isn't that... <laughs> what is the meaning of this? Forgive me for intruding on court proceedings, Your Excellency. Susato Mikotoboa, Judicial Assistant to the Fen... Oh! <laughs> she's related to Professor again. Mikotoba. Let me try that again. Susato Mikotoba, 
Judicial resistance to the defense. Make Toba. In my darkest hour, with nowhere left to go, she appeared like a bolt of lightning. And in her hand, she carried a small package wrapped in a fu furoshiki, furoshiki cloth. Furoshiki. No, not another to be continued. Are you kidding me? You've got to be bleeping me in the bleep. Well, I guess this is uh, in the next one. Maybe. In the next one, which we will have to record next week, because how freaking long is this first case, my god? And it's like 100 degrees in my room here. How Groovy. long is this first case, my god? We will see Too you guys long. in the next episode. Peace. Alrighty. Bye. Bye. Bye.